Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called She Blames Men for the Purity, quote unquote, culture that women suffer from or suffer for. So she's basically saying it's the men's fault that women need to stay pure when they can just go and have fun, smash whoever they want. But since men want pure women, they can't do that. So, uh, that's what I understand from the title. So let's go ahead and get into it. Women are more, t women are very territorial for a different reason though. And that comes down to like, since men are tend to be fall into the provider role, women will be much more territorial when it comes to male provisioning. So if a male is like, for example, paying for another girl's hands and you're in a relationship with him, that's like a huge slight to a woman or as a woman, like you might be like object more to a man, like financially um providing for another woman as compared to like sexual infidelity they're both bad don't get me wrong but like that'd be i mean i probably would care more about infidelity that's fine but yeah that's fine um relating to the body count though and how i can see how over the years that has mattered but i think now that you have genetic testing it's it kind of does take it away and now it wait 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 so you have genetic testing so since because you have genetic testing, you can go ahead, smash whoever you like, smash this person, this person, this person, this person, and this person. And since you have the genetic testing, you can use that to determine who's the baby father from these 15 people. So just go ahead, open your legs up, smash raw, and then genetic testing will figure it out. Amazing mentality, by the way. Western woman for you, in a nutshell, right there. It's, it doesn't, though. Like you're saying, we're kind of wired, like men are wired to care about body mm -hmm. count. But you can't intellectualize that. It's that a feeling. gut thing away. Yeah. Like if it's Could it if also it's ingrained, just be how guys are raised? You know, that there's kind of how? like, just like through culture, you know, maybe that is also part of What's it. What's the culture? The culture. What? Not every guy is raised the same, but for some reason, I guarantee you, most of the guys in the world want a pure woman. It's not because, maybe because they were taught that, maybe across certain like religious texts, like for like the Abrahamic faiths, they all suggest that women and men should be pure. So it's not, it's, it's religious, it's culture, it's um, innate that body count matters for women Does that it not women matter? that women i feel like i i don't think it matters more for women than men but you know um mm -hmm. i think well yeah i mean i've i've already made the argument for yeah. paternity certainty so there's that component but culturally speaking um who do you think is more desirous of virgins men or women Say this is where I disagree with the with the rep with the red pill movement. So they think men are supposed to have more sex than women, okay? Because it gives them experience and blah 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 blah. And women, women want experience, blah blah. The only women that want that type of experience or their man to be experienced are Western women. And Western women are not the majority of the of the world. So that's, that's a weird way of looking at it. I believe a man and a woman should both be pure when they first get together, when they get married. So this whole thing, oh, the man should be more experienced and the woman wants an experienced man, blah, 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 blah. It's just a bunch of bullshit. I think with purity culture, I would think men. Purity culture, okay. Well, it seems to me that there's not like a large subset of women who are like, even women who have lost their own virginity who are like, wow, it would be really cool to like hook up or date someone who's a virgin. Whereas I think there's a high, much higher proportion of men who'd be. Western women think like that. Again, Brian, Western women think like that. But sadly, this mentality is starting to seep in into the, the, to the East, to the Middle East, to the African cultures, into, yeah. So now they're starting to think like this because these Western women, the feminists, are influencing the other women. Be 
interested in that. I agree. Mm. And so you're saying that's because of evolution? Or what you're I think there's a about? biological basis. There's a mm-hmm. cultural I basis. Think, I think there's a religious ba- basis. Yep. I think that has been like a major part. I mean, Christianity, obviously. But, yes, that's fair. But I think it probably varies depending on each culture. But I think in the U.S., religion has been a huge part of it. Okay, like, sure. Um, so she thinks the U.S. is the only country in the world. Um, also, <laughs> the way that women were used like used. Um, used in marriages yeah what do you mean what? used in marriages used in marriages like to form alliances and they were expected to be pure for their husbands and arrange marriages that's what i was talking about i think they were being used but yeah they were being i don't know i kind of object to the term used but yeah um, i it mean i would argue that are you talking like arranged marriages not what? currently in the past how they were arranged marriages were women were being used uh, yeah, I know they were being used. What about the men who How? were also part of that? Like, there's two. So, an arranged marriage is a is a two way street. You have a man that wants to marry a girl that doesn't want him, and then you have a woman that doesn't want to, that wants to marry a guy that doesn't want her. And then, in a certain situations, you have a man and a woman that don't want each other, but they're forced into marry marrying each other. Arranged marriage. Both have to be virgins. So who's who's using who? What 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 is she talking about? Maybe the kings. The kings used to have multiple women, but they're kings. They can do that. They can afford that. Two sides of that. The man yeah, but, was okay. arranged to marry her too. Yeah, yeah. but he, he didn't also get a choice. Okay, mm-hmm. but here's the thing. And usually this is how it went that it was just like they could have mistresses. They could pretty much continue their life, could but they? that's kings and sultans. They like a regular Joe Schmo gets in an arranged marriage. He's not gonna be able to get more more women on the side. That's not how it works. Yeah. Are you talking like monarchs? Like maybe kings? Yeah, like and way stuff? back. There yeah, you go. I'm not talking about like okay now. I don't know if the peasantry really had much access mm-hmm. to mistresses. No, that was yep. yeah, that was more. I mean, I think for uh, maybe you can speak better on this, yeah. but I, my understanding of Christianity is that well, not uh, Christianity of yeah. monogamy was pretty. That was the. Okay, sorry. I was talk- I kind of like went all over the place. A little bit. Yeah. So, okay, I'll stick to Christianity. Um, I think that just like the whole religion itself with Mary being pregnant and still being a virgin. Um, I think that like that re- like religion was what? founded on women being What? Is she trying to compare herself to the to the being pregnant? What? That was a miracle. Mary being pregnant is a miracle. What? What? Oh my God, bro. Pure. And the fact that... Is that a bad thing for women to be pure? I... Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing in itself if women choose that. But when they are expected to be pure and it's kind of... And when they're not like allowed to do... So you're not expected to be good? Like what? Like what is going on in the world right now where expecting someone to be good is not a good thing? do what they want or aren't allowed to have access to like birth control and stuff and stuff like that I, it's a bigger to, uh, issue yeah, yeah we don't have to get into that. she's she's all over the place you you can be pure in a relationship marry someone and you can still access birth control like you don't you don't want to get pregnant you can still access the birth control well bro i don't know she's she's that i'm just saying well, it can't the, have negative. what is the, so what would be the counter what would be the alternative to purity the alternative generously oh yeah, it doesn't have to be like a complete like you know if it's a scale and like this is once it doesn't degeneracy is degeneracy you can't be like oh i'm just a little bit degenerate you're just a degenerate Wait, what it's like saying i'm a little bad no you're bad it's either you're bad or you're good you don't have to go to the complete other side. I'm just saying that it, it's all about just like well, women being. So live a double life. Basically, you're saying be a degenerate one day and then like, how, how does that balance out? I don't understand it. Able to choose. Do you think women are happy with hookup culture, though? Not necessarily. I don't think yeah. even women are happy. OK, so why are you arguing <laughs> this? This pro like what? 
Sorry, I keep pausing. Happy with it. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you have to go to hookup culture. Well, that's isn't that the status quo? No, but like you, you live can, in Isla Vista. I do. Yeah. Is and hookup I, culture the status quo? It is here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you said you've been single for 20 okay. years. I would actually yeah. make the argument that women in history in patriarchal societies were happier than women are today in our society. Facts. Should we talk about? We can talk um, about that. I mean, Wait, I would let's get to disagree the, I with that. I want to get to the part. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get to that really quick. I have one. The underscore old underscore ball underscore in Minnesota donated one hundred dollars. Man, this BSD gen shit's extremely unnatural. Sickly carpenters dream whip. You get the pleasure with nature. Rock brain. No he called me brain. Any of <laughs> Yo, thank you, old in Minnesota. Minnesota, thank. You. I don't know it's which side he was on. Wait, we'll, no we'll come to that really yeah. quick. That'll probably be the last topic of conversation. Really quick on the body count thing. Uh, what's your body count starting with you? <laughs> Zero. Five. Five. Nine. Pass. Oh, come on. Range? Range? Nine. Pass. Starting with you. <laughs> Zero. Last topic of conversation. Really quick on the body count thing. Uh, what's your body count starting with you? <laughs> Zero. Five. Ho. Nine. Ho. Pass. Ho. Oh, come on. Range? Range? Less than ten. Ho. Eight. Seven. Eight. Ho. Eight. Ho. Pass. Oh, Ho. come on. Sorry. You can't do that. Yeah. High as fuck. I don't want to answer, like, not on here. No. Over ten? Yes. Over twenty? Ho. Over fifty? No. Over a hundred? Hell no. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was just... Yeah, okay. What, what about you? Four. Ho! Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.